Mike Trout, and that includes Shohei Otani. I mean, his numbers right now are better. I mean, literally better across the board than the numbers he had at this point last year when he won the MVP and he hit 62 home runs. He has more home runs, more RBIs, um, more run scored, better OPS, everything. And this is a guy who missed 10 games. So if he didn't make that slide in Minnesota, can you imagine where he'd be right now? He might have the same amount of home runs as um, as Pete Alonso. I would assume that in 10 games he'd hit three home runs. So he has 17. I mean, he's he's on pace for another great year. Tell me another player. I'll, I'll give you the ones I think of. Like if I was starting a team, and let's, let's say age is not a factor. Right. I love Julio Rodriguez. I love him. He's going to be an unbelievable star. He's a star now. I love Ronald Acuna Jr. Yes. I'd love to have Shohei Otani on my team. I'd love to have Trout on my team. But Judge, everything he brings to the party, the leader that he is, the way he represents the organization, the way that he doesn't rub it in people's faces when he hits a home run, I don't know. I think he's the best player in baseball. I think the Yankees, you know, people criticize the nine years, and maybe that's going to end up biting them in year six, seven, eight, nine, maybe. But right now, they well, have themselves – the best player in baseball, yeah, I believe, it, and you it, might, it, you guys might disagree. Well, you know, the only reason I disagree is like, what's his earned run average, right? That that Otani's going to win just because he's a unicorn and he's doing something nobody has ever done before. But as far as what what he can, the the dominance though goes to Judge, right? Because as good a pitcher as he is, he's not the best pitcher in baseball. He's very very good, and as a hitter, he's very very good. But he's not the best hitter in baseball. So in that one particular moment. You know, can he be as dominant as Judge can be in any given moment? And the answer is no. Now, overall, you give it to Otani because, again, I'd ask the question, what's Judge's earn run average? That's how crazy it is. But as far as impact is concerned, to go out there and do what he does every day, that's the thing. Otani can pitch a perfect game. He's not going to pitch for another five days. And I'm not sure Otani could ever be the offensive player that Judge is. Judge could do this almost every night, Michael. It's incredible. And And he doesn't play the field, Don. Right. I understand that. But I'm just saying he pitches, and he pitches to an to a, uh, outstanding level, which makes it incredible. But to agree with you, Michael, he can go out today and do the same thing he did yesterday. Hit two home runs, steal a home run. It, it's not even the first home run he stole this week. He stole a home no, run he, back he, in, in the San Diego series. Like It's, yeah. it's, it's crazy the how dominant he can be at any given moment. And and right now, you're right. Like, would you want Otani to be able to plug him into your rotation and have him be able to bat in your order every day? Of course, that's why he's going to break the bank when he becomes a free agent at the end of the year and make more money than Judge. But right now, on a daily basis, the impact is incredible, Michael, to the point that if he duplicates or surpasses what he did last year, you're starting. you're going to start to compare him to the greats that ever put on a Yankee uniform. Well, he, he's playing at that level. That's a good point, Don. I mean, since 2017, he has more home runs than any player in baseball. And remember, he missed a lot of time, too. There was that period of years where he was hurt, and he still has way, way more home runs than anybody, even the number two guy. And, and you know, in, in terms of Otani, yeah, I know he's a, you know, he's a unicorn, and, and no one could do what he can do, not even Babe Ruth. You know, people always misrepresent that, guys. Babe Ruth didn't pitch and hit at mm-hmm. the same time. Babe Ruth pitched, and occasionally he would hit. And they say, well, this guy could hit. And then he stopped pitching. It's not like he did both at the same time. So Otani's doing something that's never, ever, ever been done on a regular basis. But when you take Otani's war from last year as a pitcher, and then you take Otani's war as a hitter, and you add them together, it does not beat Judge's war. So Judge was the better player last year. Even when you combine the fact that Otani is a phenomenal pitcher and a really fine hitter as well, Judge is better. He's better. Now, Acuna Jr. is outstanding. Julio Rodriguez is outstanding. I'm sure there are other players that I'm missing out there that are really, really good as well. Mike Trout. But you give me my choice. I think I'm taking Judge. And I might I might not take Judge four years from now. I might not have taken Judge four years ago. But this year and last year, the numbers that he's put up, nobody could stop him. Nobody could stop him. And there's not like, you know, wow. he's got decent protection in the lineup. But think about it this way. Is there anybody hitting behind him that's as good as no. him? And, and especially, you know, with Rizzo out of the lineup, it's it's incredible. And if Bader's going to miss any time, he's he's carried this team. Where would they be without him, Michael? Honestly, where would they be? What would their record be? 
They'd be in the tank. Yeah. They'd be under 500. They'd be in last place in the East. Now, obviously, be, if, if they didn't have, like, let's say Arson Judge did sign with San Francisco, right? Well, they'd have to replace him. But there's no replacement out there. Who, yeah, who's better than him? Who Not even done. comes close to him? Who who would have been available in free agency, Michael, that they would have been able to Michael give a Conforto? To? Forget it. I mean, I I love Conforto's game when he's healthy, but that's he's a quarter, he's half a jump. I mean, yeah, half max. <laughs> yeah, yeah, closer I mean, to quarter. Also, I love what I love about the judge story too is that the narrative of him being oft injured was such a big thing that, like, knock on wood, he's putting to bed over the last few years. Like, oh, if he yeah. if he can really just have, you know, even if he were to have another week stint, whatever, this year, Michael, that would be three straight years of kind of putting this whole thing to bed. That was just a, a period earlier in his career, and he's that's not, a, that's not a defining trait of his anymore. No, I think that's a great point, Peter, because, you know, he played 157 games last year. Now, he's not going to play that this year because he missed 10. And then they had him miss that Sunday game uh, after he went four for four in Cincinnati. So he's missed 11 games. And his numbers are still on par to what they were last year at this time. So it's like he just like sloughed off the 10 games that he missed and just picked up the pace. And he has not been hurt. And, and the injuries that he had, they were not injuries that would concern you like they, like like Stanton's injuries, which are, you know, those, those are muscle pulls. Judge hurt his, uh, you know, his side diving for ball and it was it was not diagnosed the right way and then he missed a long long time so bottom line is last year he played almost every game and this year on uh, missing those 10 games is big but he's, he's been a he's been a, a stud every single yeah. time and he goes out on the field I, I love watching him play i really do and you're right he's about a good base like, runner listen. he's a good outfielder he has a great arm he hits for average he's actually a better player than he was last year where he won the mvp Yes, and the problem with Stan is you can you can you can pen, write in ink. He's going to go on the IL at least once every year, and they're not just baby stints either. No, no, he's been out for a while. You know, he's got the, he's got he's going to be in. I was just talking earlier, Michael. That's going to be quite the Somerset Patriot game tonight, with Stanton, Donaldson, and Canley all getting a chance to rehab. So that's good. if you're if you're in the area, go check that out. You get a, get a chance to see three major leaguers on, on the field, possibly at the same time if Canely comes in and those guys are still playing. But uh, you know, and then they're going to get them back, and we'll see. But yeah, Stan's kind of that's that's what it is. But to Peter's point, if you get two consecutive healthy 150 plus seasons out of him, he's definitely putting that in his rearview mirror as far as the injuries are concerned. One eight hundred nine one nine three seven seven six. Peter, have you ever given thought that Don has some kind of an 